Occupy Wall Street protesters and police usually don't mix well. But apparently, Atlanta is an exception. Police there have teamed up with Occupy activists to save a former detective and her four grandchildren from getting evicted. This is the woman that's bringing them together. Jacqueline Barber, she's a former detective and cancer patient. She's fallen behind on her mortgage, on her mortgage struggling to pay her medical bills. And earlier this week, several officers joined activists at her home to try to keep her in it. For more on this, like, for more on this unlikely alliance, Rob Call, organizer for Occupy Homes, joins us now. Welcome there, Rob. So this is kind of a different story from what we're used to hearing when it comes to police and Occupy activists. I know 11 months ago, I understand Occupy Atlanta protesters clashed quite uh, fiercely with police. Yeah, that's correct. Um, you know, in the park days, people were evicted from the park by police officers, but we believe that housing is a human right, and Jacqueline is certainly a woman struggling and fighting for her house, so uh, we'd see it as our job to stand by. Okay. Um, can you tell us more? How did things kind of turn around? How, did you, how, did, how are the police and activists now working together? So Ms. Barber actually reached out to us about three weeks ago. Um, she got our number from a friend that had heard about us. She came to one of our weekly meetings and basically just told her story and asked for support. Right? Her story is that of a retired police uh, detective battling cancer, uh, having been put in this situation by cancer and now facing eviction. And we decided, you know, we need to step in and do you know how long she home. lived um, in this home previously to getting foreclosed on? Yeah, she's been in the home since, uh, I believe, 2004. And her troubles started in 2009. She tried to refinance as she was undergoing aggressive chemotherapy. Okay. And um, as of now, what is the status of her for foreclosure? Well, so her home was actually sold at auction. So the foreclosure was completed back in March. She's been able to put off eviction up till now, but at this point, the stay granted by bankruptcy has been lifted. So technically, GMAC could move in any time to perform the eviction, which is why we are defending our home. All right. Um, so, as I said, this is kind of a different story than we're used to hearing when it comes to police and Occupy Wall Street protesters. Does this kind of show that the two groups can, in fact, get along and work together? Uh, I think so. Uh, and it's interesting seeing, you know, Jacqueline is really bringing her community out to events at her house. And, you know, most of her friends are retired law enforcement officers and uh, filling the lawn, filling her living room for community meetings. And uh, there's really none of that tension that, that one might expect. All right. So um, this alliance was able to happen to, to help this lady um, hopefully stay in her home. But um, as we know, foreclosure, foreclosure is a huge problem throughout the U.S. today. Um, can you see this kind of being a trend and, and the two groups fighting to help others stay in their homes? Well, I think it's, it's very related because law enforcement officers are the ones that do perform evictions. And, uh, you know, we'd like them to see that they are putting people out of their homes. And there are certain counties in the United States where sheriffs have refused to perform evictions. Uh, and, you know, we see it as part of, you know, a movement to, to gather all kinds of different communities um, to stand up for housing as a human right. All right. And lastly, um, now that you've, you've taken on trying to help this lady stay in her home, what is next for Occupy Atlanta Homes? Um, so we've got Miss Barber's campaign, and we're also looking into um, alternatives to the vacancy rates here in Atlanta. They're extremely high, and uh, we'd like to see those homes put to use, uh, preferably by, by those who are displaced, shelterless. All right. Um, well, good luck with that, Rob, and appreciate you coming on the show to tell us all about your efforts. That was Rob Call, organizer for Occupy Atlanta Homes.